Hi, I'm Dr. Paul, and I just wanted to share with you a disturbing trend that I'm seeing with more and more chiropractors um, that I'm working with. And let me just share with you what that disturbing trend is relative to marketing. And I'm specifically talking the personal injury attorney marketing, okay? So let me share with you what that trend is. First of all, let's go to a little background information. And here's the background information. When you look at um, the S curve of economics, and, and that has to do with personal injury attorneys who do use chiropractors versus those that don't. And essentially what happens is, these are the statistics. The uh, Insurance Research Council, and these come from the Insurance Research Council, is 87% of all, all patients, and this represents the, pay, the S curve of economics, who is utilizing uh, uh, personal injury patients and personal injury attorneys, who is utilizing chiropractors and who's not, okay? 87% of all automobile accidents have a connective tissue uh, problem, injury, 87%. Now, the good news about that is that's a chiropractic issue. Chiropractic definitely is, you know, the physical medicine of chiropractic is there's nothing better than chiropractic to the restoration of each of the phases of healing, whether it's inflammation, repair, or remodel, that affects all three ranges of joint motion, the passive, active, and the paraphysiological joint space. There is nothing better than that for physical injuries. So there's, what does this say? This is a large market. Number two is 75% of the personal injury attorneys do not refer out. Only 25% of personal injury attorneys refer out. Um, and that is, again, these are statistics from the insurance research. Now, the good and bad news about this is 75% of the personal injury attorneys do not refer out. In other words, when they get their clients, they take the clients and the cases and the doctors and reports that they've dealt with, and that's what they use. So there's a large number of people, personal injury attorneys, 75%, who do not refer out. So that's a big, big, big target market. That's a big possibility. 32%. 32% uh, of all personal injury patients uh, go to CAM providers. And chiropractic is designated a CAM provider. That's complementary alternative medicine. Now, chiropractic care is the largest segment of the CAM providers for personal injury attorney uh, patients. But it's only 32% of CAM. So my, my point in saying that also is, so many chiropractors that I talk to think that 95, 90% of the personal injury patients go see chiropractors, and that's not the case at all. That's just a paradigm issue. That's a perception and a belief, and that alone stops them from ever seeing any opportunity. So those are the statistics, but here's the bad news, is, is the 25% of the attorneys who do refer out um, they do have a perceived need. In other words, um, so that business, they are looking, and the number one factor of where they send that business to is location, because that's the number one factor that will destroy the case, is when the client, whether, whether he lives or works, can't, can't keep his appointment. So over on the left side, you got the advertising. On the right side, you got this huge amount of of personal injury attorneys, 75%. Of their cases, 87% of them are soft tissue. They don't refer out, they have soft tissue injuries, and 68% um, do not go to CAM providers. That's how big this market is right here. That's the statistics. Now, here's the problem, is advertising will get the people, the personal injury attorneys who already have a perceived need. So that, that's from advertising. And the advertising formula is, again, dealing with demographics, psychographics, geographic, psychographic barriers, vehicles of delivery, unique sales position, uh, need analysis, uh, problem solution, why you offer deadlines. So that's the advertising formula, okay? Now, over here, this is not advertising over here. This is sales. There's no perceived need over here. And this is where... I'm seeing a disturbing trend with uh, a lot of the chiropractors that I talk to, and here's what it is. Is what gets these people to act? For, for you to get their business over here, that's educational sales, it's not advertising. 
And it's a totally different formula. See, over here we explain the advertising formula. Over here, you still have demographics, psychographics, geographics, psychographic barriers, vehicle delivery. These things are still important in sales. But the most important thing in sales that applies that's not in advertising is this right here. You have to be able to take somebody through, through, through three phases of awareness to establish need. You've got to get them through the admit consequences and personalization phase. And it's a relationship between establishing need versus minimizing obstacles that gets the person to act. And here's the disturbing trend is the need, um, there, there's a pleasure-based need and a pain-based need. And over 80% of everything we do in life is based on avoiding pain. And personal injury attorneys are no different. They're just the same way. But they're in a state of unconscious incompetence. Right here. You see, if they had a perceived need, and if it was high enough, would they not be referring and looking for chiropractors to take care of the abundance of their pain? Yeah, they would. But they're in a state of unconscious incompetence. They don't have a perceived need. So it, the advertising won't do that. Sell, you need sales because sales and knowing how to do sales takes them through the three phases, admit consequences and personal relations. So here's the, here's the disturbing trend is the, um, it has to be a pain-based need, not a pleasure-based, number one, and you'd rather it be a primary pain-based need versus a secondary or tertiary. So here's the example. Let's say over here, when you're marketing to attorneys, and this is what I'm seeing, is the chiropractors, they, they don't know this formula or how to apply it, and that's what this whole series is that I'm putting together, audio, visual, etc. Is what they'll do, and, and how, to get, how to sell these people is to eliminate a primary need. Now, a secondary need would be good, and definitely if it's a, a need that hurts, if that's hurting them, and there's three primary needs with attorneys, loss of money, making money, and saving time. Those are the three, pri those are all primary, not secondary, okay? And so, it helps if, it, if you solve a secondary need also, or a tertiary, but you certainly don't want to go into pleasure-based communication or sales, and so here's what happens. Um, so these are the need categories, and they're different from the service categories. And you cannot, you cannot uh, intermingle service versus need. You see, if there's no perceived need, none of the services matter. And the top factors when there's a perceived need that the personal injury attorneys want are this. Number one is location because that's the number one that's going to hurt the case. So they need a provider in the geographic area of where their patients are coming from. Number two is transportation. The very first question personal injury attorneys get from a client is how can I get my car fixed quick or get transportation? So it really helps you help solve the, the this is a service category. Remember, if he doesn't think he needs your services, if there's not a need, he doesn't care if you have transportation or not. And he doesn't care where you're at. So there's a difference between service and need, and you have to be careful, and you have to be knowledgeable to separate these in the marketing message. The third one is financial drivers. They want to make sure all the reports that they get are maximized out with the different providers, and you're covering all the financial drivers and the objective findings and all that stuff. So they'd, they'd like a full, a, a, a fuller, full of all the good documentation for the financial drivers. They would like for you to work with them relative to the bill. They're looking, that's important also. Um, they definitely like timely reports. You don't want to have to keep calling back for reports. And, and the last one is, is when they call to get through. It's nice, if that's, a, that's a service category. By the way, the order of these service categories, this is the order from, from high service category to low service category. Your location is more important than you taking their phone call. The transportation is more important than timely reports. You see, so these are important in this order. But they're service categories. They are not need categories, okay? Need categories are like if, if, when, if you can establish to the personal injury attorney how he's easily losing $100,000 a year. That's a need. That's a primary need. It's not a secondary need, okay? 
So if you can not only eliminate a primary need, and that's what we're going to do. That's what we do to this market. This is what this, this, is what this whole personal injury attorney video series, marketing um, series that I'm putting together for. This is exactly what it does in this market. So you have this huge market over here that's sales based. You have to be able to make sure you have the best demographic, psychographics, geographics, and psychographic barriers. Okay, you make sure you have the optimal vehicle of delivery. So make sure those four categories are optimal for your list, your marketing list. Once you get it, then the message has to be a primary need. Now this is typically an unconscious incompetent state. So you have to be able to take something he's not even aware of. And most of the chiropractors I work with aren't even aware of this. So you have to be able to establish, and remember you've got to take them through three psychological phases, admit consequences and per The consequences are these, that it's a primary need and it's big and it hurts. And he didn't know that until you pointed it out and got him to admit it. That's called sales, okay? Now here's the big problem that I'm seeing. This is how, this is how you tap into that market. The problem I'm seeing overwhelmingly with so many chiropractors is they're basing their marketing on things like this. Buying them tickets to the hockey and ball games. Buying them dinners. Strippers. I've heard strippers. The, 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 the chiropractors are buying their attorney strippers. Um, sending them flowers and gift boxes and things like this, okay? That's a disturbing trend. And here's why. Is now, if you don't know any better, then that's last resort. But there's a couple reasons why. Number one is, if your total marketing message is based, how strong is that? How strong is the marketing of buying them tickets? How strong and deep is that relationship uh, as opposed to solving a primary need? Let me ask you, what would be more important to that attorney? You showing him something he didn't know before, how he's easily losing $100,000 a year? Or are you giving him tickets to the ball game? Okay, so that's, a, that's the difference between a pain-based need, primary need, versus a superficial, pleasure-based product or service. There's literally no company. Here's the other, here's the other big problem with this, is anybody can do this. So you, you will get beat out by the next guy that gives them two tickets, or two dinners, or two strippers, okay? So be aware that if this is the angle you take, this is a very, very weak, weak marketing message, most of the time, not really very effective. Costly, and they will easily move you aside for the guy who's willing to give them a little more. But if you are the one that took them from a state of unconscious incompetence, they didn't know how much potential money they were losing, number one. They didn't know how much money they could make by your services, knowing how to process a case with financial drivers and documentation and all these factors, okay? Even if it's a secondary need, it's still better than this over here. These are, these are not even needs. They don't even need them. They can do it totally without them. So this is the absolute weakest position you can take. It's, it's a pleasure-based marketing system. It's, and it's easily transferable by the next guy willing to pay for the bigger dinner. And you lose out just that fast. But if you're the person that knows how to eliminate their primary need, and remember their primary needs are losing money, and remember they're, if they're in this category, they're in a state of unconscious incompetence. They don't even know this. That's why it's sales, not advertising. So if you can establish and get them to see, admit, admit, take them from the unconscious incompetent state to conscious incompetent state. Admit consequences. Get them to see the impact of their ignorance or not working with somebody with your knowledge base. And that impact is significant. This is not significant. If they don't get a ball ticket, it's not significant in their life. This, if it's a primary need, it's significant. And so you not only know how to do this to this market over here, 
this big, large market. You not only know how to do this, but then you also have the location, some transportation. By the way, you have all the financial drivers and you have the medical team to support the financial um, document, the medical document to support the financial demands. You will work with them relative to the uh, relative to the bill to keep it a third, a third, a third ratio for continuing an ongoing business. And your reports are timely. They don't have to ask you. You get them over there within three weeks, no more than four weeks. And they don't have to keep asking you for them. And you return their phone calls. Well, let me ask you, if you're an attorney and I was able to do this to you, eliminate a primary need, which was one of those three factors, and these were the factors that were most important to you in that order, and I'm the guy, how much value did I create right here? How much value versus over here? If I only did this, how much value is there if I only knew, I only knew enough to send them baseball tickets or hockey tickets, okay? So that's the disturbing trend that I'm seeing in personal injury attorney marketing and most of it I found comes from ignorance is the total unawareness of the S curve of economics relative to personal injury attorney marketing and the difference between advertising versus sales and by the way the follow-up messages should not be flowers and bouquets the follow-up messages should be the services you provide that help eliminate help help eliminate their primary needs it's reminding them regularly through the follow-up messages, whether it's a newsletter, video, whatever, not flowers or candy, okay? You're going to get beat out really easy by the next guy who's willing to give a bigger bowl of candy. Not many people can do this, though. So if you learn this, you create tremendous value, and it doesn't matter if you're the person who needs your attorney. Are you not going to send the person that knows how to do this in your life to the guy who's willing to give you tickets, is that who you, if you're the personal injury attorney, is that who you're going to send the clients to? The guy who gives you a bowl of candy? So be aware there's a big difference, and that's what this whole video marketing series, I'm going very specific and in the depth and the difference with advertising, sales, and publicity, and how to put it all together to totally create significant value. To be honest, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid to lose you. That's the way you want it. You want them to be afraid because you create, so you feel such a vacuum in their life. That, so that's the marketing message. That's the difference between advertising and sales. Okay, so this is the whole video series I'm putting together and we're getting out to you, okay? I'm Dr. Paul, just wanted to share that um, alarming message with you.